Hey my dolls, my dolphin lady here and welcome back to another episode. So today I'm going to be painting a duck and because I really don't have one I really want to make, we're going to have my dog decide between a couple options. She's she's not trained. I have turkey for her. So um, I'm going to set this up real quick. Options are either one of the four turtles from Team NT or I want to do Mabel from Gravity Falls. Go on, baby. Oh, and she has chosen TMNT. Okay, yep, go ahead and go ahead and take that one too. I'll be right back. Okay, so because my dog chose TMNT, I have to go and grab four ducks for her to choose from. My closet is a mess. So, so I've got it set up. The turkey in our house is really gross and slimy, but uh, let's get my dog over. Jesse. Jesse, come on. Which duck will it be? Choose one. Cho choose a duck. Go Jesse. Je Jesse. She she's not the brightest. Jesse, come on. Choose a duck. I'm asking you to eat food. Would you eat the food? Jesse. Jesse, open your eyes. Oh look, she's going. Okay, so she has chosen either Leo or Donnie. Not sure which. Gonna have to figure that out. We're gonna grab our three other ducks. I'm going to, Jesse, eat the last of the turkey on my floor. This is the duck we're gonna paint. Okay, so I'm starting with the primer as a white coat of paint over the duck so that I won't have to do as many coats of green and because sometimes my paint will flake off and I don't like having to deal with the flaking paint when I'm doing the colored paint. So as you can see right here, now I'm working on coloring in the shell and I painted the shell or I made the shell off camera because not really good with clay or detail work. And as you can see, I'm doing a lot of blue stuff. That is because this one is Leo. I went in and asked my sister and she said Leo would be the best for this. The reason why I decided to do this is because I love painting ducks. I've wanted to film a video of painting a duck for a while now because it's fun and enjoyable. And I filmed this during quarantine, so I was watching random videos when I'd run out of them. And I came across the old ones where people would have their pets choose to do their makeup or art or something. So I decided to let my dog choose since I didn't have a duck that I really wanted to do. So I don't know if I'm going to film myself painting the other three ducks. I've already finished painting Mikey and I didn't record his, but I may end up recording Raph and Donnie. Not really sure yet. Haven't decided, but I did end up changing some of the ducks that I will be using. And if you go over and check my Instagram, you'll be able to see the finished products when I actually finish them. Probably won't be for a couple of months because school's going to start up soon and I won't have as much time to work on it. But overall, with the two ducks that I've done so far, I am really happy with how they turned out. Also, sorry about the camera in some spots. I'm new to recording like this and it's a little difficult for me. And like I said earlier, I do some of the detailed work offline because it's just off camera because I just don't know how to do it yet and I'm still working on it. Right now I am cutting up the tassels for their headbands and I'm gluing them on and I use a pencil for a lot of my detail work because I don't have many small detail brushes. I have like one and I basically use that to do everything but I use pencils if I typically on the eyes so that I can get more precise lining and since I am doing the Rise TMNT version even though 2012 is my favorite, but I decided to do Rise because of the fact that they don't all look the same. In 2012, it would basically just be same size turtle, well, same size duck, painted slightly different shades of green, all looking the same with different headbands, and that'd be about it. So I decided to do the Rise ones. I enjoy Rise. It's not my favorite TMNT, but I do like Rise, and it adds more detail into it, so I decided to go with that. Okay, so right now I am working on fixing up the shell. I'm painting it. 
I switch back and forth a lot as well because I'm impatient and I just want to work on it. So I'll do, you'll see me jump to the eyes and then have to wait for those to dry. So I'll jump somewhere else and like fix it up as much as I can. And as you can see, I've done the red part of his face and the black pupils of the eye and most of the eye I ended up doing off camera because I just couldn't get it without picking it up and bringing it closer to me. And right now I'm doing the lighter color of the duck. Sorry if my voiceovers sound a little all over the place. I'm not really used to doing them and not really sure what to say for the entire thing. Right now I'm working on it with chalk pastels so that I can do a bit of shading. I'll typically do shading or blush depending on what duck I am painting because obviously I didn't really plan on using blush on these ducks, but I put them on their beaks. Beaks, yes, beaks, that's what they are called. And right now I am cutting up the belt out of the other, the rest of the fabric that I painted so that I can get his belt on because I didn't want to just paint it, I wanted to add some more definition to the ducks. Anyway, that's all I have to say for this episode. I hope you're all staying healthy and safe during these times. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!